And meteorologist Stacy Donaldson, another hot one here across the Front Range for the day. We've seen some increase in cloud cover here, scattered showers down to our southwest, potentially bringing in a few scattered showers as we go through the rest of the evening. So if you're out and about, maybe at the Bronco game, you're going to be seeing a few scattered showers off and on as we go through the rest of tonight. Temperatures today made it in the mid 90s here around Denver. The record today 100, but we made it to 95, so no record breakers today. Temperatures in the 80s across the plains, triple digits down through southeastern Colorado and those 70s and 80s into the higher elevations. As for our weather headlines, the first day of school tomorrow for Denver, it'll be a nice warm day. Temperatures around 90 degrees. So even though it's the end of summer for the students, it's still going to feel like summer outside. We'll have some scattered afternoon thunderstorms as well. 95 are high today. The record 100 set back in 2020 and on average we should be around 87 degrees this time of year. We're still in the 90s at this point from downtown to DIA and our humidity at 19%. You can see those clouds here across the front range most of those showers down to our southwest so it's still pretty warm here for denver in the 90s we have 80s off to the north and east and triple digits toward lamar off to the west near grand junction 86 degrees there and tonight in denver if you're out and about maybe watching the game on tv temperatures will be in the 80s through uh, eight o'clock and then 70s after that and we do have slight chances for scattered showers as we go through the rest of the evening most of those showers coming in from the southwest so we're seeing rain in the high country and we'll see more of this show up here in Denver as we get through the next few hours. So the, the moisture is coming this direction. So it does look like we'll see a few isolated showers. They should be moving on through pretty quickly. We also have a heat advisory still in effect uh, for this evening toward Pueblo for those hot temperatures tonight, though. Chances for showers across the state. We're on the very low end of our storm outlook, though, uh, for our uh, outlook for severe weather tonight. Partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the low 60s overnight, temperatures in the 60s here across eastern Colorado, 50 in Alamosa and in Gunnison. And if you're in Aspen, 50 degrees for you right here around Metro Denver, low to mid 60s for those overnight lows. First day of school tomorrow, temperatures starting out in the mid 70s. It's definitely shorts weather tomorrow with highs around 90 degrees and we will have scattered shower chances tomorrow during the day. So just keep that in mind. Temperatures in the 80s and 90s here for the eastern part of the state, 70s and 80s for the mountains. So if you're looking to cool off a little bit, head to the west. Temperatures will be very nice with the bus stop forecast 75 on the way to school, 88 degrees on the way back home with a chance for those scattered thunderstorms moving on in. So our super seven day forecast keeping it pretty hot here into the beginning of the week. We'll have good chances for storms through the middle of the week on Wednesday and Thursday. Highs dropping into the upper 80s throughout the end of the week and then more sunshine into next weekend. 90 on Saturday, 88 on Sunday.